Hey y'all. Um, okay, so still working on exam three review. Doing a bunch of little videos. Um, okay, so we last left off solving logarithmic equations and rejecting values if need be. And so what we're doing now is going to be problem 30 and 31. So this says to solve the exponential growth and decay problem um, for problem 30. It says that the value of a particular investment follows a pattern of exponential growth. In the year 2000, you invested money in a money market account. The value of your investment T years after 2000 is given by the exponential growth model. A equals 3,200 times E to the 0.054 T power. Um, and it says, when will the account be worth $4,192? So um, we want to know what year will this account be that amount of money, right? Okay, hold on, let me get this. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's write this um exponential growth model which is a equals 3200 e to the 0 0.054 t we're looking for t correct um, because it wants to know when the account will be 4192 that would actually be the accumulated amount after you know so many years so that's going to be our a so we're actually going to change a to 4192 equal 3200 e to the zero point just kidding zero five four t okay so what we're going to do here y'all um it's kind of just it's almost harder just to go back to the calculator okay um in order to solve this we actually just need it as like base the exponent power we want the coefficient to be one and if you look on the right hand side my coefficient is 3200 so what I need to do is divide both sides by 3,200. What I get on the left-hand side when I do that division is 1.31 over here. I get my e to the 0.054t. And then um, the goal is still the same, right? We're trying to solve for our t. This is an exponential form, right? b to the x equals a. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, get a look. What's my base? Because my base is E, I need to take the natural log of the right-hand side. Um, and then what you do to one side, you have to do to the other, correct? So, and I do that because the base of the natural log is E. And then doing this. Right, it just ends up being that's the answer. Okay, so what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Let's go ahead and take the natural log of 1.31 and the natural log of e to the 0.054t. I didn't write base e just because it's implied. Um, on the left hand side, it just stays natural log of 1.31. On the right hand side, I did this so that those would cancel. And the only thing I have left is just the actual exponent. And then here, what I need to do is divide by 0 0.054 on both sides. And if you enter that into your calculator, what you end up getting is that t is approximately five we were in year 2010 so if we add five years um we no we're in year 2000 we're in year 2000 so if we add five years um this will approximately be 2005 when this happens okay Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's look at problem 31. No, I did it again.
Okay, so let's look at problem 31. Problem 31 says the growth model A equals, let me go ahead and write that, y'all. A equals 112.5 e to the 0 0.012 t. Describes Mexico's population A in millions t years after 2010. For part A, um, it's asking me uh, what is the population of Mexico in 2010. So this, if you needed to write it out, you would write the exact same growth model. You're going to plug in zero for T because 2010 is zero years after 2010. Um, that actually makes E um, get raised to the zero power, which means it's going to go to one. And so the only thing you have is just that the population in 2010 is uh, 112.5. So it would ask you for the same year that they tell you the, the model is, is based off of, then it's just right there because that goes to one, okay? So now let's look at B. B says, what is the Mexico growth rate? And so I know that my 0 0.012 is my rate. Um, I would turn that into a percent. What you do is you move two times to the right. I would get 1.2%. And then for C, um, how long until the population will reach 200 million? That means that now my A is 200. I'm still using the same growth model. Um, what I would do here is divide both sides by 112.5. Uh, one, one, <clears throat> um, what I get on the left-hand side, y'all, is 1.778 equals e to the 0 0.012 t. Um, because this is base e, I need to actually take the natural log of both sides. I get the natural log of 1.778 equals the natural log of e to the 0 0.012 t. And then what happens on the right-hand side, because the natural log's base is e, is that, okay, so left-hand side is the same. Right-hand side, I get the exponent right now. That's the only thing that's remaining. And then I would divide both sides by 0 0.012. So natural log 1.7. Why did I just do that? Divide both sides by 0 0.012. That cancels right here. If you enter the left-hand side into your calculator, you will get that T is approximately 48. Um, this is saying it's approximately 48 years uh, because we started, what year did we start in? We started in 2010. Um, what is it, 4058? So we could say that, you know, 2058, now that would be the approximate year um, for this problem. I'd be okay with, you know, that T is approximately 48. Okay. So when we come back, we will do, um, this is probably how I'm thinking about doing the videos. We'll do these two. Yeah, we'll do these two. We'll do these two. Let me do it this way. We'll do these two. These two, you can do all of those. You can do that one. And then I could do that one. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's going to be like 10 videos total. But hopefully they're shorter than what y'all are used to getting from me, which might be a good thing. I'll still do the lectures, but I also wanted to have these as well. Okay, um, this way we get every single like 42 problems done in video form, not just half of them in class. Okay, y'all, so if you have any questions, make sure you let me know.